All right, all right, all right. Welcome back, all you wonderful, magnificent, fantastic people. Welcome back to another episode of Jurassic World Evolution 2. So today... Today, my batteries are low. Awesome. Well, I have some right here in case I need them. That's good. Uh, so, we need to get... About tree pity. About tree pity. Alright. Well, everybody has their environment so far, and everybody should be happy. Lots of forest and everything for you. That's good. That's good. So, what we're going to do is throw up another pen. Probably back here. Ah, oh, damn. They did not last long this time. Holy. Alright. Well, let's put that in. Put that in. Bingo, bango. Alright. Good. Um, might have to remove a little bit. We'll see. You know what, whatever. You can be a little bit off at the end. I ain't gonna fuck with it. Alright. Gate. Now. What else? We're gonna want a feeder, obviously. So let's get that in. And, of course, you gotta have water. Everybody needs water. Nice little pond back there. And it's as far as trees and stuff, I don't even know what we're going to be putting in here yet, so we're probably just going to put a few, and let's go with some rock. Alright. A few little ones. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Now, does this reach... I suppose they all reach, but we're probably going to throw another one in just to be safe. Let's get our path up there. Thank you. And we need a ranger post. Just like so. Alright. So, add task. Assign. And assign. Might as well get them all working at the same stuff. That way, there's less work for one team. Alright. Now, let's see. How's our staff doing before we go sending anybody out? Alright, everyone's all rested up. Good stuff. Good stuff. Well, let's see. We have three Metricanthosaur, eight Trudon, and two Crylophilophilophilophilophilophilophilophilophilophilophilophilophilophilophilophilophilophilophilophilophilophilophilophilophilophilophilophilophilophilophilophilophilophilophilophilophilophilophilophilophilophilophilophilophilophilophilophiloph
They are basically just waiting now, so let's speed up some time. Luckily, money is not an issue anymore because we have lots going on. Alright. So once they get back and we put them in here, they should be pretty damn happy, I would imagine. And that's a nice pen. Alright, transmission incoming. Sweet, we got all three. Alright. One. Transportation underway. Two. Asset has been collected. Three. There we go. So now let's go back to normal. You guys need status checks. You guys are status checking. Let's get this one over here and status check that one. Beautiful. Now, hopefully, you guys enjoy the area here. I mean, it's pretty nice. I love the patterns and colors on these things. Oh, I can't wait to get into the sandbox. And... There's a missing fork. Oh, shit. Alright, more open space and more forks. Really? Wow. Well, let's go... Two more. There you go, folks. You guys should be happy now. Get a little bit more forest going on, Brayas. You guys are all forest dinosaurs. Stakes are as high as they've ever been, if I'm not mistaken. And I'm not mistaken. We are on the cusp of achieving a new relationship with the dinosaurs. Forging revolutionary ideas because we're able to better understand the past. And boy, do we now. We're trying to put those accidents behind us. Well, if I may, um, there are no accidents. Simply undiscovered reasons. Our mistake, humanity's mistake, is believing that we want to know the truth better. When the lie is more than enough to sustain us, these genetically manufactured dinosaurs oh, the poor are as real as we chose to make them. We've manipulated and crossbred dogs, cats, and livestock for years. Why? Not for what they need, but for what we want out of the animals. And you think that's what we're doing now? You tell me. Any contact, no matter how slight and reasoned, introduces change. Is that not correct? Dr. Dua, enlighten us. For now, it's what we have to accept. Our job, my job, is to make sure these animals have the best care. As for the rest, let's Love the interactions away. between the dinosaurs. Yes. Yes. How wonderfully uh, uh, chaotic of you. <laughs> Even on the islands, we never created something this. This perfect. Well, considering we can't let them run free and the dinosaurs will never really know the life they should be living, it's as perfect as can be. I guess we should be happy. But are yeah. we happy? Sorta? Okay, something's bothering you and it's not me. No. So, what gives? This park. This isn't the dinosaur's final stop, is it? No, of course it's not. How could it be? It's too dangerous to have these animals this close to civilization. They go, we go. You mean that, Owen? You realize what you're saying? We're a team. I know you, Claire. You don't turn your back on them, which is a 
Bad idea, by the way. Never, never do that. And neither can I. These animals are a destiny that we can't escape. Not just you and me, everyone. That's something the Earth needs to come to terms with. Yeah, we either make this planet right, or the dinosaurs. They'll make it theirs. Booyah! Mission complete, California. Yeah, Yosemite. <laughs> From the language of the Miwok tribe, it means the Valley of the Killers. Fitting, isn't it? The strong prey on the weak, the hunter and the hunted constantly optimizing their size, their appearance, their strength, their vision, their speed. The mind becoming ever better at that one task necessary for survival. Huh. Evolution is a never-ending arms race that continues to this day. That's life. It embraces change. And now dinosaurs have returned to the Valley of the Killers. The question isn't, do they belong in Yosemite? They most certainly do. No, no, the question is, will they stay? Will they stay or will they go now? <laughs> Excuse me. Well, that was pretty damn good. Ah, oh, we completed the story. All right. All right. Well, that was awesome. We have completed the campaign. So, before we move on to challenge, we are going to go to Chaos Theory. Hell you! Yeah. All right, you guys ready? I'm ready. I am excited as shit. These are awesome. I love these movies. I have watched them all, and I own them all. So, without further ado, let's hop on in and kick some Jurassic Park ass. All right. Let's go, guys. The Mosquito. Frozen in time for millions of years. And trapped within it. Well, that discovery would change our world. For a while... We thought that this was as close as we could get to dinosaurs. Turns out, we were wrong. Years of research into how to complete the DNA sequence for a dinosaur led us to this. Life unlike anything seen on this planet for 65 million years. Jurassic Park. We know how well that went. But what if someone like you had been there to temper some of that rampant hubris? For Jurassic Park to succeed, you're going to need to make sure it's safe for all your guests. This uh, adventure of their lifetime, we don't want it to be their last. Reveal the groundbreaking Jurassic Park to the world where dinosaurs return from extinction. Let's hope it goes better this time around. Yes, Wonderful, let's hope. isn't it? This is a paradise, but it is missing what it once had. Until we bring them back, this place will show people something spectacular. Dinosaurs, no longer confined to our imaginations. Dinosaurs in the flesh. And the moment people see them, that moment of astonishment, of magic, well, you're going to be a part of that spectacle. Jurassic Park will open on schedule, and the world will be as it once was, a land of the dinosaurs. All right. Ah, good, good. Glad to see you getting settled in. I want to introduce you to Lily Halford, who is our Director of Operations here at the park. She'll get you up to speed. Thank you, Dr. Hammond. Uh, John, please. Oh, right then. As Dr. Hammond... Oh, John has already told you, 
Our goal is to get Jurassic Park fully operational as quickly and safely as we can. We are literally doing things that were considered impossible, so it will be a challenge. Making the impossible possible? Yes, yes, I'd rather like that. All right. We will need to prep the facility for the dinosaurs. Begin with a functioning visitor center and a science center. And remember that both must be connected to pathways. Oh, and power as well. I can see that all is in good hands. Do carry on. We'll keep you updated. Splendid. Absolutely splendid. All right. So, the nerve center of Jurassic Park, where all major operations are managed, and also serves as a hub for all guests visiting the park. So, you've got a spot where you want us to put all this. So... We will put that there. And the science center. Where do you want us to put that? Over here. Alright. We can do that. Don't worry. So let's curve that around. Just like so. That's gonna come out like that. And that's gonna come out like that. You out like Jurassic that. Jurassic Park Beautiful. has a top geneticist. Top. Dr. Henry Wu. I should expect that you'll be meeting him soon. That is, if you haven't already. I'm settled in and ready to get started. So if we're to get the dinosaurs we want, we first need a hatchery. If you could construct one, then my staff and I can get to work. Alright. So, research, hatchery, alright. Facility not built, no fossils, research. So, uh, let's go to the one we need. There we go. Hatchery. And we need two logistics and two science. Well, shit. There you go. Just one right there. That's plenty. Oh, good stuff. What are you trying to show us up here? I keep flashing. Thing. Research in progress. Let's speed that up just a little bit. Beautiful. All right. Hmm, where do you want us to put this hatchery? Right here. All right. Just like so. And now we need a pathway. Just like so. Welcome to Jurassic Park. So, the first stage of dinosaur creation at the hatchery is synthesis. During synthesis, you will select spe species, genetic modifications, and view chances of certain traits. The synthesis process creates a variable number of eggs known as a batch. The number of eggs varies per species. Velociraptors. Yes. I'm going to start with raptors. I know you may have concerns, but both John and I agree that they represent some of our most viable candidates. You'll need to synthesize their eggs using the available genome research I've provided. And of course, let me know the results the moment you have them. Alright, that'll do. Will do. 
Let's open this up here. We don't have upgrades, that's okay. So, empty hatchery. So, we have the Velociraptor. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Synthesis batch size is 6. 75% intolerable. I don't think we really need to change much, but we're going to just take a look. Yeah, so we can have the Velociraptor skin. Alright, we're just going to leave that all. Assign scientists. Um, let's go five. There we go. And we're going to add you for faster incubation. Alright, good stuff. I wonder how you change how many you're incubating. Might be a bit more figuring out. We don't need any of that stuff. <coughs> Excuse me. Well, let's speed this up a little bit. There we go. All right. So, failed synthesis. No viable eggs. Our first synthesis was unsuccessful, which means that we clearly have room for improvement, but we don't stop. We get better. I've identified some areas in the synthesis process that need further research. See what you can learn at the Science Center and get back to me. All right. So we... View research. Let's take us right to where we have to go. All right. Which one do we need? Improved synthesis. Take us to the node. There we go. So this is the one we want. We need two, or a one and two. Yep. All right. Pretty bland looking science center. Holy. All right. Velociraptor incubation failed. Discard all eggs. Well, let's speed up our time so we don't have to wait a lot longer again. Here we go. the batch and select eggs to incubate. All selected eggs are incubated and the grown dinosaurs can then be released simultaneously. Alternatively, dinosaurs can be released to other locations via airlift. We're See, beginning like that. with That's raptors? Cool. I'm not sure we're ready. Every precaution has been taken. I'm following the science and these dinosaurs are our best chance at success. We've learned so much and we'll continue to learn as we move forward. Yes, yes, of course. And I do you understand your concern, Miss you. Halford. Every dinosaur carries a certain amount of risk. And it's our job to mitigate it as much as possible. Keep the lawyers out of my hair and the dinosaurs safely and happily within their enclosures, and you shall have my eternal gratitude. Dr. Hammond, 
Does that mean we have your authorization to proceed? Yes. Most enthusiastically. All right, so our raptors are done, I believe. Yeah, so now we can select eggs. Okay, that's interesting. Um, Wow, they can get some interesting stuff, holy. So, help, there we go. Faster incubation. All right, well that's an interesting little setup. All right. Well, we're waiting on those. We might as well speed up our time again. Save us a little bit of hassle. So, two raptors. That's, that's interesting. All right. Lower our time. Lots of raptors ready to ride. With Dr. Wu's assurances, oh, we've so got cool. the proper response teams in place. I'm not saying anything will go wrong. I'm just Water, prey, a open of space force. Yeah, you guys we have nothing. We can start with a ranger post. Build one inside the Velociraptor enclosure. Then create a response facility. From there, assign a ranger patrol to the post. Alright, so you're not picky about where we're putting these? That's good. Well, we're going to put the response team there. Uh, ranger post and assign the ranger team. Okay. So, ranger post. Right in the center. And now you guys are going to need food, obviously. So let's put in a live feeder. And water, because, you know, we're going to need that. Perfect. All right. Oh, we're out of fuel. That'll do her. That'll do her. All right. And this needs to be connected. And apparently needs its own power. Well, that's nice. Alright, there we go. Now we can get you guys set up over here. We need the animals comfortable in their enclosures. The less they feel stressed over their captivity, the more they'll begin to act within their expected behaviors. This is better for them, and obviously better for us. Check on the raptors' welfare, and yeah, see, we're remember, already ahead of what you want us to do. They're still getting habituated to their new enclosure. All right, so you guys want viewing galleries, which is good. There isn't much entertainment and right educational there. value in the park if our visitors cannot see our dinosaurs. I mean, what's the point, really, if not to see these majestic animals up close? Well, we can construct viewing galleries, which should provide the guests with what you're after, John. They won't believe their eyes. <laughs> Which is exactly what we want. Precisely my thoughts as well, Lily. And why they'll want to keep coming back, time and time again, to Jurassic Park. Priceless memories for a reasonable fee. <laughs> ah, yes. Now you're getting it. <laughs> That's 
How are you guys? Are you, you need to get a paleo-medical facility forest? in place to ensure any sick or injured dinosaurs can be taken care of. That's a good idea. We need to keep our dinosaurs healthy. Paleo medical. All right. Nice. All right. So, Expedition Center handles teams led by assigned scientists. Send your dig teams to collect new fossils from dig sites all across the world. Extract dinosaur genome I mean, data from more fossils. More genetic samples center. than we have all here right. at the park. <clears throat> we can send out expeditions of our own to gather fossils, but what we really need is for you to get an expedition center under construction. Then we can extract DNA from these new fossils gathered in the field and rebuild an even more diverse set of dinosaur genome sequences. This should be your priority. All right, so we need the Expedition Center, uh, which doesn't appear like it has to go anywhere specific. Terrain constraints, really. Put that right there. There we go. Expedition Center. So increased genome of Triceratops. All right. So we need a staff center too. Can we build that yet? First, research it. There we go. Well, let's get the staff center researched. Beautiful. All right. So you guys are ready. Try ceratops. Staff's busy. Oh no, just that one. So, Triceratops, but we don't have the people for it at the moment. Okay. So, Staff's busy, so we can't send that out yet. Well, let's just speed up our time while we're waiting, I guess. Research complete. There we go. Operations. Staff center. You guys are going to want to rest. send you guys out. There we go. And we need six. So you... Oops, not you. You. 400,000. Holy shit. Alright, 
So once that's built, there we go. We are gonna get these other ones a bit of rest. Rest and rest. That one's still good, so we're not gonna put him um, anywhere yet. Trying to attack the jeep. That's great. All right, so we got that done. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, we're just waiting for the Triceratops. <clears throat> no point putting up a pen or anything yet, because I don't know where they're going to want us to put them. Alright, so, let's go in here. Ah, oh, things look really neat. I like that. Alright, so, you need scientists to do all this stuff as well. Extraction. So four out of three, that's all we needed. We'll add you to, why not? Alright, so I think we can only do a couple at a time, but that's alright. So everybody's doing good. Doing good. Patiently waiting. Now, I wonder, maybe we'll send these guys back out again. Packy Rhino, Struthio, Parasaur, Triceratops. Staff is all busy, apparently. Well, alright then. Speed up our time a little bit while we're waiting. Fossils are just about done. Beautiful. Release right. a new herbivore into an enclosure. I want to observe these animals in the wild. So you want us wild. to do two triceratops? I mean, as wild as we will allow. Checked. There we go. Okay, so we gotta prepare a new enclosure. I was wondering. Now, you want us to hatch out two triceratops. Uh, so, let's add that and that. There we go. Beautiful. Alright, so let's see what's wrong with our raptor over here. And we need to prepare an enclosure for the triceratops.
All right, there we go. And we're gonna want a gate. And we need a viewing gallery. All right. And now let's get our path going here. in here let's get some water uh, trees whoops there's a lot of trees in there holy so ground leaf ground fiber my ground nut Just because I don't know what the hell you guys are going to want. Um, also, we can add in some nice rocks. Never know when you need a good rock. Yep. shoes I guess um, 30% threat and dominance 30 attack never terrorizes guests never attacks ranger teams prefers to sleep in the day well we're gonna take you uh, minus 30% population needs dominance chance to socialize Well, uh, I think we're just going to take those two. Yeah. So, let's go... It's got to be health, eh? So, you and you, by the looks of it, are the only two we can do. There we go. Alright. Excellent. Now, what I want to do... Is, I want to remove all this crap from the center... Go. So you're gonna come through, you got the nice walkway here, or your visitor center. Look at that, visitor center right here. And this is gonna take you into the park. Now what I might do actually is I'm gonna connect that both directions so one goes that way, one goes that way. Beautiful. All right, let's speed this up so that we can finish up the episode by releasing these Triceratops. I think that'll be a great end of the episode. All right, there we go. Now let's go down in here. So release dinos or release via airlift. Man, that is so cool. All right, via air, airlift, airlift. Here we go. Ah, so nice. So nice. All right. There we go. Let's get them out and about. And now, of course, we do need another one of these. And let's assign our ranger teams. Quest acknowledged. With so many moving parts, I want to Beautiful. make sure that we All don't right. lose sight of our reason now, for being on time the back down. in the first place. The dinosaurs. Their lives come by our hands, and now they rely on us for their continued existence. This is our responsibility, and one we cannot take lightly. I want you to be sure that our dinosaurs are as comfortable as possible. Has 
they're lonely. And you want more forest and more ground fiber. Just forest. Well, in order to get your forest, we are going to have to move the pen <clears throat> a little bit bigger. There we go. Let's get rid of that. And now we need to add in some forest. Dr. Wu and Dr. Like Hammond that? would both like us to increase the diversity of animal species in the park. <gasps> and then Just construct a ride where a they bit. can be viewed. Make it something impressive. Alright, how is that? You just gotta look a little bit further and you'll be happy with your forest. So... Increase total dinosaur species. We need two more. A functioning park tour. And ensure enough are visible from the park tour. Let's get our tour going. There we go. Yeah, the park tour, I'm not sure how it works. I haven't used it on the old game. Alright, you guys just need to look around a little bit and, uh, you guys will be pretty happy with your forest, I assure you. There we go. Go heal him. Alright. Oops. How are you guys doing now? Now you're happy. You've explored. You know there's some forest. Good, good, good. So the park tour. I wonder how that's going to work. Medicaid. All right, let's turn that down. Park tour, right there. Nope, not viewing gallery. Park tour. An attraction to be built through enclosures for dinosaur visibility. Well, we are gonna probably put you right about here. Track, concrete tour track, photo point, tour track.
stop that there for now. Jurassic Park Gate. have that for the start, I think. Jurassic Park. Okay, so let's get this connected quickly and we can get this episode finished up. There we go. Run you around this way. Beautiful. All right, you're going to want your own power source, of course. That's okay. That's okay. All right. So, let's make sure everybody's good on food and fuel. Yeah. Refill. Refill. Fill you. Make sure everybody's refilled. To save us a lot more hassle later on. There we go. All right. So incomplete track. Yeah. Kind of figured, but that's all right. Don't worry. Another enclosure. We have a lot of space here too, holy. in the wrong spot. There we go. Let's go back and fix that. Beautiful. Alright. Uh, now we need our gate. But it's all in water here. That's not good. are going to remove that and we need our gate and those raptors are feisty all right there we go now let's run you up this way all right now, of course, gotta have more power over here. Just like so. I gotta go way back here to edit the tour. Holy. Alright. Way back over here. we want to run this for now so I think we're just gonna run it to there 
Paint that all grass. Doesn't look so weird. Beautiful. All right. So you need to be healed. Or diagnosed. And of course, this one does too because they keep fighting. Assholes. You're sleeping with a dead goat. <laughs> oh, that's great. Alright guys, well, that's going to do it for the episode. Hopefully you've enjoyed. If you did, smash that like button for me. Hit that sub button. Tell your friends. Share it around. All that cool shit. Most importantly, hopefully you're all staying awesome. Being kind to one another. Being kind to yourselves. And I will see each and every one of you guys here real, real soon. That is very cool. Alright. Oops. Can we do anything about you? Uh, you gotta be transported, alright. Alright guys, see you soon.